Hey guys, Mr. Catlin here. We're going over homework, lesson number two in unit two. And we're looking at Han, who's making some chocolate milk. And he's mixing milk with chocolate syrup. That's how you make chocolate milk. Pretty straightforward uh, quantities that we're comparing here. So we got a table that shows us how to make different batches. If we want to make a bigger batch, like 10 to 15, smaller batch, one to three halves, three to two, to three. I'm sorry, two to three, all these different ratios that work for him. And we're going to use the information in the table to help us complete these blank statements. Okay. And we've got a bank of terms down here that we can use. So uh, those are the words and numbers that we're going to use. The table shows a proportional relationship between, it shows it between the quantities. So the first thing you should write should be uh, cups of milk to uh, cups of milk. And I'm going to write tablespoons i'm going to abbreviate that tablespoons of i'm just going to write syrup we're understanding that it's chocolate syrup okay so tablespoons of syrup it's milk that's your ratio um, the relationships between those two things the scale factor that's being shown okay they show you a scale factor here to go from two to eight of four but the constant of proportionality is the number that works constantly throughout and that constant is the other number, which is 3 over 2, or 3 halves, 3 over 2. And you can get that by doing 3 divided by 2 from the two numbers that are there. So that's your constant of proportionality. And then the units for the constant of proportionality are 3 halves tablespoons, TBSP, of syrup. You're using 3 halves tablespoons of syrup per one cup of milk, per a cup of milk. Okay, notice that cup of milk and cups of milk are in different spots, okay? Per cup of milk means that there's one of them for every three halves tablespoons of chocolate syrup. All right, problem number two, and the last one on this page. You're taking... Uh, white and red paint and making a pink and so we have a table here that shows the ratio and the question is how many cups of red paint should be added to one cup of white paint so we got to fill out this table well the first thing that we need to be able to do this is we need our constant of proportionality so what am i multiplying by seven to get three so you can think of it like this seven times something equals is loud equals three and so to find out what that number is we've talked about this the ratio is there you got the two numbers that make this up you can do three over seven uh, or three divided by seven the way that I think about it is I'm just gonna write it in fraction form and that will tell me three so I know that I can just multiply this side by uh, three over seven and it will tell me what this is now one times three over seven is just itself so that's easy enough. And 3 over 7 is also your constant of proportionality because it's the number that multiplies you across the table. Yes, you can get fractions for constants of proportionality. And I wouldn't recommend putting this in decimal form because it's long and it is going on forever. So write it as a fraction. It's so much more easy to do it that way. And there you go. There is lesson 2 in unit 2.